Hey y'all, welcome back for UWorld's NCLEX question of the day. I'm Caitlin, I'm a nurse here at UWorld. Let's get into our question. Our question says, the nurse is planning care for a client who has an indwelling urinary catheter. Which of the following interventions should the nurse include in the client's plan of care? And I want you to drop your answer in the comments. Option one says to apply tension when securing the catheter tubing to the client's inner thigh. This is gonna be an incorrect option. So we have the balloon in that catheter that keeps it in place in the bladder. So if we apply tension, we're gonna pull on that balloon, we're gonna cause damage to the lower urinary tract. Um, we definitely want some slack to allow for movement. Uh, option two says to maintain the urinary drainage bag above the level of the client's bladder. This is an incorrect option. We want urine to drain away from the bladder and we use gravity for that. Um, if we have the bag too high, we're gonna have backflow into the bladder that could cause infection. Um, so we definitely wanna keep it lower. Uh, option three says to empty the client's urinary drainage bag once it is completely full. This is gonna be an incorrect option as well. Um, the goal is to empty it when it's about half full. Urine is really heavy, it can pull on the tubing, it can cause our bag to break. We um, definitely wanna empty sooner rather than later. And then option four says to cleanse the client's perineal area with soap and water. And this is gonna be our correct option. So we want to cleanse that area on a routine schedule and as needed after we've like had a bowel movement or something like that to reduce the risk for UTI. Um, anytime we have like a tube or a line going where it wouldn't naturally be, we're at risk for infection. So we wanna take all kinds of measures to prevent that. And one of those measures is cleaning that area regularly. So option four is our correct option for today.